High Fire Energies, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to be taking a look at and see um, what is the reason behind their silence. So, what's going on with them and why they're keeping silent. Um, as always, these messages are general, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle here and see what's going on with your romantic energy. Okay, um, I definitely feel like your romantic energy is playing some sort of games here, the Knight of Wands and the Devil. Um, and I see that this is quite, um, for a lot of you guys, this is a, a difficult time, okay? You're not necessarily sure where you stand um, with regards to, you know, their energy or with regards to this connection. And you're not necessarily sure where this connection is going altogether, right? I feel like the reason why, so for some of you, I feel like your person might have ghosted you, okay? Because I get that this is an energy that pulled back quite abruptly. Or if they are keeping silent, um, I, I feel like it's it, it, they're trying to play games, they're trying to play mind games with you. They're definitely trying to get something out of this, whether it's trying to get your attention, try, trying to get you to notice them, trying to get you to, you know, chase them here. Um, or it's a way for them to try and um, assert control. Um, over the connection, make them make make it seem as though they're in control over the, the connection, and they get to decide if the connection is actually going anywhere and where. Um, there's no communication here, or if there is, it's very little communication, and your person has definitely pulled back and distanced themselves away from you. The Knight of Wands is an energy that I, uh, with the Knight of Wands energy, it's an energy that sort of comes in very quickly, but it has a tendency to leave just as quickly. So I feel like maybe this has started very quickly or very passionately, but it's also ended quite abruptly or your person just has pulled away quite abruptly here. Um, this is definitely testing your patience and your strength, right? Um, a lot of you, I feel like maybe you've been here before with the repetition of the sorts. So they've done this to you before and you know maybe this is a repeated pattern that you're dealing with your person has come on very strongly and then backed off very quickly here um, in the infinity loop you know it suggests to us that this is a familiar routine or you know the whole notion of you being here before there's a dark setting with the devil okay um, your person might be committed to someone else um, your person might be someone who is playing the field and they want to keep their options opened um, as I've mentioned, your person could also be trying to play games with you. So they'll reach out to you when it's convenient for them, uh, you know, on their terms kind of thing. The Eight of Swords here tells us that your person, I don't know that they want commitment, okay? Um, I don't know that this person wants to enter a relationship or I don't know that this person wants something serious or something long term. Um, their actions definitely tell you this, even if their words don't. Their actions definitely prove this to you here. Um, they could have uh, commitment issues, they could have emotional intimacy issues, there may be just a sense of immaturity and juvenile behavior with their energy, they may just not want this right now. The water that pulls at her feet suggests to us intuition, because although she cannot see where she is going, she can feel her way out of there, okay? Um, this is a message to sort of use your intuition to guide you in this instance. And with this emotional experience so although you may not have the answers as to why this person has just pulled away or disappeared on you your intuition is trying to sort of point you in the direction of what you know what happened or why it had to happen this way so use that intuition here to sort of guide you out of this tricky situation um, there's also a sense of entrapment with the eight of swords and the devil card some of you I feel like maybe you feel like you're chained you're like a slave to their love or you're chained here um, to one another um, or you feel like this is you know you can't break free of these games or you can't sort of break free of these um, holding patterns that they have here the blindfold tells us that you're also not seeing something either you're not seeing what's in front of you or you're not seeing this person for the for who they are you're not seeing the situation for what it is or you're choosing not to see something. You're choosing not to see something. Why is that? 
Maybe because the truth of what really is is too painful to bear. Maybe it's too uncomfortable. Maybe you'd rather just avoid it and not have to deal with it. Some of you, I feel like you're choosing not to face the obvious truth, even though it's staring you in the face. The Knight of Wands, your person will be back. Your person will come back into the picture. And I feel like it's almost like they'll try to weasel their way back into, their li into your life, or it's almost like they'll just pop back in into your life unexpectedly. I don't necessarily see them holding themselves accountable for their actions. Um, I feel like they'll reach out when it's convenient for them. Or your person's energy feels like they are someone who is chasing excitement or you know they're always after the next thrill or the next adventure and when the excitement dies down in a relationship they're on to the next best thing. So once whatever it is that they're dealing with fizzles out, the excitement factor fizzles out there, your person will come back come back into your life again. Again, you know, it's on their terms here. They'll reach out when it's convenient. Um, and they'll cooperate when it's convenient with them here. There's quite a lot of um, energy here, like sexual chemistry or sexual attraction between the two of you. There's a very strong um, passion here. And like I get a sense it's lust. It may be love, but I feel like it's more lust than love. Um, the two of you are very strongly infatuated with, with another or you're very strongly infatuated with your person. So much so that it's making you oblivious to what's really going on here. Okay. Um, they have a side to them. I feel like this is someone who's a little bit wild. Um, this is someone who, you know, because of the strength card, you know, because um, a lion here is an animal who can't necessarily be tamed because it's this animalistic, you know, energy. They have a side to them that I feel like is wild, that like they're either like a party boy or a party girl, there's someone that can't be pinned down, there's someone who's in constant movement here. So they're not after commitment, they're not after a relationship, they're not after something um, long term, okay? They are... They are playing games. They can be um, a little bit infantile, a little bit immature here. They're not ready for a commitment, which is why your relationship with this person hasn't necessarily progressed. They're holding back communication right now because they left things very awkwardly with you. They ended things very abruptly. And now it's like, even if they want to come back in, they're going to ignore having to explain themselves or even apologize. So this is why they're just going to try and pretend like nothing happened and see if they can get away with it. Purely because I feel like they have gotten away with it in the past, whether with you or with someone else. And they're going to try their luck again here. So watch out for that. Um, okay, and these are your messages, guys. I just want to thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.